Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I make a vegetable pie and this is a very very versatile pie. You can do so much with it and tweak it to where you like it. What I'm going to put in it today is um, uh, yellow squash, zucchini, eggplant, and um, sauteed onions. Those are my very favorite vegetables, and it's real good in this. You could also add uh, chicken or um, uh, beef crumbled up and browned. Um, that's what I think the, the best meats would be, but you could put, you know, whatever you think you'd like to try. And you can put any vegetables. I think potatoes would be real good in this. You would just need to boil them for a little while first um, because when you cook it you're just going to cook it for about a half hour and you're just kind of browning up the topping and <clears throat> excuse me you're not cooking it long enough to really cook up the vegetables like you need to carrots would be good you just need to boil those so uh, we use cheese in it today I'm using Swiss cheese but um I think Swiss cheese would be good with um, chicken and maybe cheddar cheese with hamburger if you chose to put meat in it. So there's a number of ways you can just make this your own recipe, but I will show you um, now what I'm doing. So I'm going to start out by making the topping, and I, um, what do you call it? Anyway, it was um, a, a whole block of cheese, and I shredded it. That's it. I have a terrible memory, and I think y'all have seen numerous times I can't think of what I'm trying to say, but anyway, here's the shredded up Swiss cheese, and I just really love Swiss cheese and so does my husband. So that is about four cups or so, uh, three and a half, four cups. To that I'm going to add um, about a half a cup of um, Parmesan cheese, just the kind you shake out of the uh, bottle. If you had the, the block Parmesan where you shred it, that would be really good too, but this is what I have. And then I have about um, almost two cups of mayonnaise. And so you just mix all this together. And it'll take you just a minute or two to get all that mixed up and this won't taste like mayonnaise I know sometimes people say that they just don't like the taste of mayonnaise but this isn't going to be like you're having a mouthful of mayonnaise so you just get that good and mixed together And it's going to have a delicious flavor with that Swiss cheese and the Parmesan. So, there's that. I'm going to set it to the side for a moment. And I've browned two pie pans. I put them in at um, 375 for about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to make one um, right now to show you and then I'll make the other one in just a little bit but first of all here I have grilled onions that I about halfway grilled and I'm gonna put half of those in the pan And spread those around 
and I'm going to use my hands because that's what I do when I cook. Here is egg plant, and what I did to my vegetables is I put them on a baking sheet on a little bit of oil, and I baked them about 20 minutes on each side to try to take out some of the moisture, and I think they taste better when they're browned a little bit. So you want to put a nice layer of your first vegetable okay there's that now here's my zucchini and just put a layer of it Then you take your yellow squash and put a layer of it. And just remember, if you're not a fan of these vegetables, put what you like. So, put that layer. And I'm going to wash my fingers up here. Then to this, I'm going to take a little of my garlic salt and just very sparingly, I put some garlic salt on there. And now I have my basil and put a layer of basil on there. Basil is one of my favorite uh, spices. I love the little sweet taste it has. Then you take this mixture that you made and put dollops on it. And that's about half. And you want to Kind of spread that around and you're going to let this cook in the oven about a half hour you want your cheese mixture to be nice and browned and so that's it until we come back and i show you the finished product so um i'm gonna go ahead and fix the other one right quick and get them in the oven and i'll be back shortly and let you see what you think See you soon. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and um, the vegetable pie is done. And I think it turned out uh, really well. I will um, just let you see what it looks like. And I will cut you a bite. It did go 30 minutes on 300 and 50 degrees so and I let it sit about 10 minutes so it could kind of um, harden up just a little bit Here you go. I don't know how well you can really see. There's kind of a glare. But that's what it looks like. It um, is a delicious pie, especially when you put your own touches to it and add meat if you want or just, you know, your different vegetables. So, um, if you'd like, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it more than you know. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.